welcome to a special journey today we're talking about something super important supporting local businesses it's like being a superhero for your community join us in celebrating the heart and soul of our neighborhoods let's get started Yeah, but so guys, uh, right at a Mwea uh, area, you, you also have like a, a different uh, kinds of unique uh, transportation system. And, and uh, I've just seen this amazing, uh, you know, trans transport system right here at a Mwea uh, area. And I would like to give it a try, man. So follow me. Uh. Hello, Mwea area, how are you? I'm saying hi to you. Yes. So you live around the Moya area? Yes, I live in Moya, ah. around the Moya area. Ah. It's my place. Ah. Yes. And I can say like uh, Moya area is well known for rice. There's plenty of rice uh, in this area. Yes, yes. As per now we are harvesting. Ah. We are harvesting rice and uh, every, everybody is busy. It's been quite a while. Um, first, uh, I started Nikiwa High School. So, um, high school, when I joined high school, mm -hmm. I found people like they were rapping, doing all sorts, of, all sorts of things. And then there was this person making beats using the keyboard, the piano keyboard. So, um, I got interested because I used to play the piano keyboard since I was, like, since I was a little boy. I used, to, I used to play in church. So, I then joined the group. I told them I can play the keys. Then I I I just made friends with those people. Then I started making making it. Then from there, I went to a certain studio, and I saw how they were making music. Then I was like, eh, I think I I can do this thing because I used to play keys for them at the studio. So from there, I then got really interested in in, in it. So after high school, when I got my own. Uh, laptop i started making my own beats amazing and i've seen that uh, you have worked with different artists uh, here in kenya can you name a few a few uh, big artists uh, in kenya that you have worked with uh, some of the big brands and uh, which songs have you done okay so um i've worked with so many big brands i'm um, so uh, so if i don't mention any big any big brand out there ni vile mingi sana so uh, just a few mm -hmm. i have um, i've worked with the uh, savara of saudi soul I have actually done several projects with, with, with him, but one is out. It's called Bypass. Mm -hmm. He did it with Benzema. I, I work with, with Benzema mostly in and out, in and out. Benzema of Ochungulo family. So um, I've also worked with Nelly the Goon of Ochungulo family. I've worked with Breeder, Breeder LW, on several of his songs. Um, also EQ. EQ, uh, I'm, I'm the one who produced Chuma Yadoshi actually. Chuma, Chuma Yadoshi, me nataka hiyo Chuma Yadoshi, Chuma Yadoshi, Chuma Yadoshi. Yo, what's up YouTube man? So, Xavier Inks, we're at Langata. There's a, you can show the people the name yeah. at the door. It's X A V I E R underscore inks. And so, if you really love to have your tattoo, your first tattoo, second tattoo, third tattoo, you name it, man, uh, Savvy Ink Studio is the best place to come and have your tattoo. My name is Mimo. I like coming here because it does really great work. Yeah, it's great service as well. And how many times have you come here to get your tattoos? This is my second time. So, me two times. 
and you really enjoy and love the services here. Yes, yes I do. So that means uh, you'll recommend people who are watching this video to come here and get their tattoos as well. Absolutely, it's worth it. So remember it's also about supporting local business and uh, see you guys in the next episode. Uh, make sure you come to Savi Inc. That was right at Alangata, Kenya. Amazing. Thank you so much, my brother. Yeah, easy, Mose. You're welcome, guys. Agroecology yeah. is the system whereby you use natural farming and the natural inputs yeah. which are biologically safe for farmers, for users, for consumers yeah. and for the ecosystem yeah. around the farm, farming area. Okay. Yeah. And uh, could you please uh, briefly explain to us about the, com uh, the company Kilimo High Organic? <laughs> Kilimo High Organic is a certification standard in Kenya and East Africa which satisfies farmers who are doing agroecological practice, that is organic farming, following all the requirements that are required without any contaminations, that is from farm up to when it gets the shelves and to our plates. So Krimohai is the mark that is supposed to ensure that whatever that you get in the shelves is organic and pure organic without any contaminations. It satisfies farmers through PNGS, who are producing organic in organic farm in their farms and who are also going or aiming to do the market of the input of the farm produce. So whenever you see a Kirimohai anywhere, know that that thing that is reported Kirimohai has been certified and has been traced from the farm up to when you get it for your own consumption. Okay, my name is Lucy. And I come from Moranga, Kangare, and I am an organic farmer. I started farming uh, about uh, more than 15 years ago. That's when I started uh, doing farming or practicing organic farming, unhealthy because of taking the chemicals. So I started now taking the organic way, and I decided now instead of buying, I would be, I would be farming in my farm so that I can help my family. I help my uh, environment and even my, my neighbors and what everybody, and even the whole of the county, I'm now looking forward so that they can be farming or eating organically because it is safe and healthy. And uh, if uh, anybody would love uh, you to train them, like how can they contact you? How can they get uh, reached to you? If anyone wants training from, from us, you can contact us through Organic Agriculture Center of Kenya, OAC, or you can get me through my number that is 0723 669 We've had an incredible time shining a spotlight on our local heroes, businesses that make our communities special. If you enjoyed this journey and believe in the power of supporting local, give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. See you in the next episode. Bye bye. Wash a